Yeah, well, there's obviously waning interest in uh, COVID generally and in getting booster shots. 61% of people between the ages of 18 to 29 in BC haven't gotten their third dose of the COVID vaccine. That's according to the BC CDC. Many experts are concerned not enough is being done to push young people in particular to get their booster shots. There isn't really any talk in the media nor uh, the science in terms of the public health office, office in terms of long COVID. So there seems to be less fear around if you get COVID or not. The BC vaccine card is also being scrapped as of April 8th. As more things open up, the director of UBC School of Nursing, Elizabeth Saywick, says people's motivation to continue to ensure they get all the vaccinations available to them may dwindle. If you are not prevented from the things that you want to do because you don't have this, and it's going to be extra effort to actually um, get that vaccine, then, um, you know, people will default to the easy choice. And um, if you're not feeling particularly personally vulnerable. However, Saywick says there are a few things to keep in mind when looking at the number of British Columbians who have not received their third dose. When you do test positive, then there is a gap before you're eligible to get the vaccines. But I think another part of it is if they don't have paid time off to go get that booster, if like the please drop in and get get a shot kind of clinics are not being held regularly, then the easy choice is to just not do it. The oh yeah, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, but you're just life is busy. Last month, Health Minister Adrian Dix made a public plea to young people to start booking their booster appointments due to the staggeringly low amount of eligible people opting to get the third jab. About 850,000 people have received invitations who have not yet booked, and we have lots of open appointments, particularly in community pharmacy. So I include, uh, I, uh, I ask people for their um, health for the health of the ones they love and the health of their communities to book their booster dose appointment. In a statement to City News, the Ministry of Health writes in part, it is important to remember that more than 91% of all adults are fully vaccinated. We will continue to monitor COVID-19 in BC, including breakthrough infections, who is getting infected, and the severity of illness. We do know that we have high levels of immunity in BC, and that will help keep people protected over the next several weeks and months. Do you think if nothing changes, do you think we're going to see a bit of a plan for how many people are actually getting the booster shots in BC. Uh, yep, yep, I definitely do think that's going to happen. Ashley Burr, City News.